നമസ്കാരം സിന്തേറ്റ് ഗ്രൂപ്പിന് മൂല്യവർദ്ധിത ഭക്ഷ്യോൽപ്പന്ന വ്യവസായത്തിൽ ലോകത്തെ ഒന്നാം നിര കമ്പനി ഭക്ഷ്യവസ്തുക്കളിലെ എണ്ണയും പ്രസിൻസും വേർതിരിച്ച് ഒലിയോറസിൻസ് വിപണിയിൽ ആയിരത്തി തൊള്ളായിരത്തി എഴുപത്തിരണ്ടിൽ പ്രവേശിച്ചു ആഗോള ഒലിയോറസിൻസ് വിപണിയുടെ മുപ്പത് ശതമാനവും കോലഞ്ചേരിൽ നിന്നുള്ള ഈ കമ്പനിയുടെ കയ്യിൽ ഇന്ത്യയിൽ നിന്നുള്ള ഒലിയോറസിൻസ് കയറ്റുമതിയിൽ അൻപത് ശതമാനവും കമ്പനിയുടെ കയ്യിൽ ഇടുക്കി വൈദ്യുതി പദ്ധതിയുടെ ഭാഗമായ മൂലമറ്റം പവർ ഹൗസിന്റെ ഭൂഗർഭട്ടണൽ ഉൾപ്പെടെയുള്ള വൻകിട പദ്ധതികൾ നിർമ്മിച്ച സി വി ചേക്കം വൈവിധ്യവൽക്കരണത്തിന്റെ ഭാഗമായാണ് ഭക്ഷ്യ സംസ്കരണ മേഖലയിൽ പ്രവേശിച്ചത് തൊട്ടടുത്ത വർഷം തന്നെ മികച്ച കയറ്റുമതി സ്ഥാപനത്തിനുള്ള ബഹുമതി നേടി ഇപ്പോൾ ആയിരത്തി ഇരുന്നൂറ് കോടി രൂപയാണ് വാർഷിക വിറ്റുവരവ് കേരളത്തിനു പുറമെ തമിഴ്നാട്ടിലും കർണാടകത്തിലും പഞ്ചാബിലുമെല്ലാം സംസ്കരണ ശാലകൾ ആയിരത്തി ഇരുന്നൂറ് തൊഴിലാളികൾ ഇപ്പോൾ കിച്ചൺ ട്രേഡേഴ്സ് എന്ന ബ്രാൻഡിൽ കേരളത്തിലെ സുഗന്ധവ്യഞ്ജന വ്യവസായത്തിലും ശ്രദ്ധേയ സാന്നിധ്യം പുരസ്കാരം ഏറ്റുവാങ്ങുന്നതിനായി സിന്ദേറ്റ് ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ചെയർമാനും മാനേജിംഗ് ക്ഷമിക്കണം പുരസ്കാരം ഏറ്റുവാങ്ങുന്നതിനായി സിന്ദേറ്റ് ഗ്രൂപ്പ് എം ഡി സി വി ജേക്കബിനെ ക്ഷണിക്കുന്നു മറുപടി പ്രസംഗത്തിനായി ജോർജ് പോൾസ് തന്നെ ക്ഷണിക്കുന്നു അലൗ മീ ടു സ്പീക്ക് ഓൺ ബിഹാഫ് ഓഫ് മിസ് ജെ കെ ബാസ് ഈസ് ത്രോട്ട് ഈസ് നോട്ട് വെൽ ഈവൻ മൈ വി ആർ ഇൻഡീറ്റ് പ്രിവിലേജ്ഡ് ആൻഡ് ഓണേഡ് ടു റിസീവ് ദിസ് ഔട്ട് സ്റ്റാൻഡിങ് അവാർഡ് ഫ്രം ദി റിപ്പോർട്ട് ചാനൽ ആൻഡ് its captain mr nigesh kumar in fact we had our humble beginning 42 years ago to manufacture a value added product from pepper that is an ingredient going into processed food industry from there we have covered all available spices converted into value added and added further value to it by improving its functionality making it more functional for the end user from that stage we have started isolating the active molecules present in spices all spices contain some phytochemical or nutrients such as that are required for human welfare from that we have now gone to a st- these are all products going into the manufacture of processed foods i have already mentioned primarily going the main customers are flavor houses they buy these ingredients and make seasonings or curry blends for the food industry world over the processed food industry in which scientists food scientists and flavorists are working on various permutation and combinations by introducing innovative recipes for the food industry by doing that they will bring out thousands of such products hundreds will be test marketed and tens will be accepted by the customer so they always need more more and more innovative ingredients for them to innovate their recipes and that gave us the challenge to work towards more and more products deviating from the spices to other botanicals which carry some taste molecules from there we have gone into extracts from flowers for isolating its color and also 
the the flavor the fragrance components for the perfumery industry so these products one after the other started rolling out and today we are a company with the nine manufacturing units including one in china i mentioned in my discussion why we went to china because i mentioned about paprika olio resin which we have been using the local raw material which became uncompetitive because of the poor productivity and that compelled us to go to china to compete in this in that market it will be interesting for you to know sorry for taking some time because nigesh wanted me to extend my speech so that the minister will arrive <laughs> hopefully <laughs> so it it is a interesting uh, you know story for you to hear as well you know because many were i have been mentioning about the chinese experience and examples the fast growing uh, you know uh, economy of uh, uh, of the world today this paprika variety grown in the northern province xinjiang province in china which is more or less dry land if you are lucky you will get one or two showers in a year so it's almost desert that is the place where they get two and a half times productivity for that variety of chili grown in that country that is why they are more competitive than the indian variety grown in karnataka the secret of this productivity is during winter the the ice that melt during summer is collected in a reservoir and through an efficient canal system you know the irrigation takes place and that too the farmers get support from the troops from the military military is providing the infrastructure for the farmer for the farming community and the productivity is two and a half times and farmer gets the support from the breed breeder seed breeder with the highest possible high, uh, the hybrid variety of seed for them to get the maximum yield and they provide the soil testing to ensure that the soil has the necessary nutrients so this is all taken care of by the troop and at the time when it is harvested and supplied the troop will get a cut on it this is the arrangement i'm sure india can also adopt this model in the agriculture sector where particularly when there is no war happening the military has the time at their disposal to help the farming community and today this is the third year of running and we are uh, this year onwards we will be uh profitable so from there we have acquired two companies to go for the forward integration acquiring a british company for the manufacture of sweet flavors and another austrian company to manufacture savory flavors or flavors seasonings you know there are two variety of flavors i'm sure jos is an expert on that sweet variety that is going sweet flavors are going into ice creams confectionery um, you know beverages uh, and and bakery products but whereas the savory seasonings are going for meat uh, noodles and fish that kind of processed food industry so for both you need separate technology and to ensure these two technologies we got into a joint venture today we have acquired that 50% from them and we are a, we have bought out both the uh, shares and we are a 100% um, uh, uh, you know synthetic group company so we have gone for the forward integration and to take care of the quality standards we had to uh, help the farming community as i mentioned during the discussions unless the farmer gets his return remunerative return no farmer is going to continue to 
produce that crop anymore. So it is in our own interest to ensure that the farmer gets his due return and the farming community makes its own living, then only they will continue with the crop. It is with that, it is with that philosophy we are supporting the farmer. We are extending our CSR also to the farming community to help them in their school um, with the facilities for better facilities for the children. And so backward integration and forward integration. So we started as an ingredient provided to the industry. And today we have graduated ourselves to a solution provider to the food industry as a result of the acquisition of knowledge in the flavor sector. As a small example to say, Mary Boy is an ice cream known to everybody, a local brand. They have been using a synthetic flavor, flavor ingredient, and artificial color. We help them to develop a natural oleous, uh, sorry, uh, ice cream with the natural color as well as the natural uh, flavor with the natural ingredients. So, Merry Boy, you can confidently buy and enjoy as it is a 100% natural ice cream. I am not an ambassador for <laughs> Mary Boy, but this is one example for me to establish the fact that we are a solution provided for the food industry. We encourage scope projects from food industries. If they are faced with any taste related um, issues, then we would be able to help them in developing the kind of recipe for them to add more value to their final product. In that respect, the Tastemaker Award, which is thoughtfully given by, uh, you know, Reporter Channel, uh, I greatly appreciate Nigesh Kumar in his farsightedness. I did not know that he has gone so deep into our business to understand what we do, except that they came for a, uh, an interactive session with us. Uh, probably from that, uh, Nigesh got this uh, idea. Anyway, thanks indeed for uh, this award. Uh, I hope the minister will <laughs> reach soon. Well, on behalf of Jacob, you know, I must say that it is hard work, sheer hard work and farsightedness. Above all, the blessings of the God Almighty made this possible to come to this level of a revenue of 1,300 crores with the Nayan establishment uh, in South India, including one in China, which I have already mentioned. And we hope to, we are working on a, uh, on a vision to attain 3,000 crores by the year 2020. Mr. Jacob has expressed his wish to dedicate this award to his colleagues as well as the, the, the employees of the organization. Thank you. Thank you, George Paul, sir.